so let me see if you can hear me now can you hear me uh, can you hear me as i'm singing my song as i'm singing a song i refresh my studio oh right yeah it's still no sound I uh, can hear me now. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? That's all the comments from there. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yes, I could. Good, good, good. I won't attempt to sing again. It's okay. Good. And Karen, that's better. Uh, lovely sound. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Now, here we are with our reading for this morning. Uh, you, if you hadn't heard, heard what I'd said, this is the card deck that I'm using as that top one. It's Leanne Winston and Get Deb Gilmore's newly created. It took a long time for them to create this, I know. And it has arrived on shore now so that you can purchase them. Um, so it's a beautiful deck of cards. They're really big, as you can see, against the Lenormand. So I've decided to try out as in creating it to be the focus card for what we have as the main energy for our day. So this is the card that has uh, popped in for that purpose. As you notice, it's number 19, which breaks, which brings back to one with numerology. So it's the start of new things today. And what you need to be doing is trust it will work out. Know the sun will rise in the morning and know that the moon will set in the evening. So it is about knowing that whatever you're doing in the day, trust in yourself, trust in those around you and really put those feelers into being trust and trusting today. Okay. So then what we've got here, <coughs> oh, good heavens, already. <laughs> I just noticed the troll. Um, anyway, I'll have a drink of coffee to calm myself after that little bit of flagration. Mm. I wonder if that's even a word. I might have to look that up. <laughs> so um, I might just take the time of going over and spamming, bamming, banning and all that sort of stuff with that pretty pretty yes. comment. Yeah, sure. Um, anyway, that should be done. And here we go. What we've got is the five-card spread as usual. What I'm using is home in this, mm, home in this energy. We've got a uh, home, heart in the energy of the home. We have magnifying glass, not microscope, magnifying glass in the workspace. We've got bear again today, and this time bear's shifted up to the unexpected space. We've got key in that position of our role, and we've got the stars as the outcome and the other overarching energy. So I think that's a wonderful wonderful card spread purely because what I saw first was the heart in the home space. I love that being there. So it's a great energy to have. And we've got Karen saying good morning too before I start into the comments, uh, into the explanations. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it feels like I'm a bit ready, doesn't it? Uh, and I've had my shower to calm down, <laughs> to wake up. Now I'm needing to calm down. Let's take some deep breaths. <sighs> one will do heart in that home space is so lifting it really brings back what our focus is oh god now hang on just gotta i think i can shut that off um it's really lifting in that energy of reconnection with self i think so that what you can actually do is oh good morning to you are still beautiful to see you here as well and another one of those silly things oh trouble is i can't do them in the background now because my thing ain't scrolling so that one there someone else is going to have to do it do ignore any of the troll comments do not comment to them because i do go back and ban if you're under their comments in the thread i think you get banned too so from the ha we're going to move into our home space any of our relationships we know what's important to us and in that deeper sense sometimes we feel like we're out of control and can't understand oh i forgot to hide your comment there there's still not that it's a bad one to have up there <laughs> beautiful beautiful little avatar um 
we're, we're bringing our centeredness back to the heart and sometimes when we feel like we're out of control or not quite understanding how to do something uh, or respond in relationships or do something or respond in physical situations if we just calm ourselves bring ourselves back to that heart center and ask that inner self calmly now what do i need to be doing here what am i learning or what am i needing to be doing here so that it's from that heart base so that if something like your plumbing has buggered up or um, you know that you've got things with uh, you can find difficult to say to someone that is a loved one whether it's your spouse or children or you know relatives or anything like that that's in your home circle that you can find that right phrase that right way to go about uh, you know moving forward in a relationship so um, sit with that trust remember that trust card is above all of these so sit with that trust that you, you will know what you're needing to be saying and what you're needing to be doing within your home space because you're you're doing it from your heart you're doing it from that base of love and it's the unconditional love not that that you're putting conditions on all the time okay so spend time there today in that heart space and um, we did have some talk about that yesterday because uh, was it yesterday we had the heart i think it was there oh, i'm not going to open the thing it might make noises <laughs> my, my, on the phone i've got the photos of what we actually what i take to put up here so from moving in that heart space, still keep the heart space as the top of everything every day anyway. But uh, we have that focus on our home space with the heart today. Magnifying glass in that workspace is bringing forward the finer detail. So you do need to be looking into it with specifics. If you're signing contracts, if you're making plans, if you're building uh, you know, a blueprint for something and, and you're, or you're even writing uh, I wouldn't say books as such, uh, law for some reason came into it. So if you're writing a list of rules, regulations and that type of thing uh, or signing things with that type of detail, you know, be wary of the fine print. Look into it. Certainly read everything you need to before signing and that type of thing in your workspace. I'm feeling that that is an important part to be looking at. Um, even if it's going down, because I was part of a, a workshop on Tuesday that went, mentioned insurance and the different exclusions. Look at the exclusions first, not what they include. You know, it's it's just finding what that fine print says. And I think even in your own workspace of what you might be creating, that you do create with that finer detail not being left out so that it is clear what the process is if you're doing a step of procedures for uh, construction of something, you know, whether if you're creating something specific at the detail so that it's easy for step by step for anyone to follow those instructions, if you understand what I mean. It's all of that realm of the finer detail actually looking at it in that bigger picture too because you're bringing that small to the fore um, or the little stuff to the forefront, okay? Um, so we're moving then to the bear and it's continuing on with those unexpected moments where there needs to be that extra bit of oomph and strength in the work that you're doing, in, in what you're moving forward, in the things that you're saying, even in that nurturing that you're doing in the home space. So there could be times where you really do need to be a bear with how you're standing up for something you're saying to your kids, for instance, that you really need to hold that boundary and hold them to it uh, as far as, as what your expectations are in raising children with how, um, you know, be, being what, uh, what your vision is for them in their individual personality and characteristics, okay? Um, we don't raise them to be automatons. We raise our children to be individual, independent thinkers with strength in society, so that's what uh so that's where it might be relevant for your home space in the workspace similar thing but it's with that you know be a leader um bring things bring things into fruition by that hard work and what we're doing for our role is actually using what keys we have uh, it might not be one individual key but it could be just one specific that today really makes the difference that it's actually setting free something that you love 
someone that you love, um, you know, opening up the doorway to something new. Remember that numerology on the trust card is opening a new path. It could, it's opening that new door maybe for you to step into something that's really fantastic and exciting and what the next step is of, you know, have, having the, the stars really shine for you and bringing forward that one focus of a star even that's that's going to be that movement through the door and, you know, the vision that you're going to have of what possibilities there are of what's moving ahead for you, what you're moving ahead into. Um, have that exciting anticipation for it and trust that those steps that you're taking are towards uh, actualising what is your star goal, where you want to be. Have it changed that way that it is actually a fact for you. Uh, as if it is now, that it's already happening. So um, that's just a brief run through of that spread from my very quick um, intuitive sense of what the cards are meaning, not with any pre-thought or planning on what they mean. I just take it as I look at them as we start the show type of thing. That's what I'm getting. So you can do exactly the same with any deck of cards you have or any tool really. You just lay it how you want and feel what is coming to you in the messages from your connection that is with your spiritual guidance. So thank you for being here. Certainly do, if you've got any questions to ask me, certainly you can message me uh, and ask away. Uh, I do have those two sites. There's the rosboundy.com.au as a website. Um, and we've got the buymeacoffee.com with the Ros Boundy, and that's got other little quick links and especially the Buy Me A Coffee is a quick shop link type thing and there is a membership starting on that one soon. I'll be putting up more detail about that and that's for a Sunday evening uh, regular but that's only going to be a paid one. I think I've set that at $20 a month for the moment for starting the rock you know start starting a practice that's regular for you that you can come in and practice with the Lenneman cards and that with me but I'll be putting more detail about that as I get to uh, well post it <laughs> basically and start it off. So just have a look through there. I think it is actually web uh, active so um, as a link so you could probably try that out and i'll be starting that this is where i'm not sure if it's going to be this sunday it won't it'll be after the the body mind psychic expo weekend so probably june i'll be starting the actual pro weekly um live streams uh but that zoom meeting types that's going to be more a zoom meeting private group set up that's a membership only so thank you, Sarah. Thank you very much. And thank you, Veronica. Lovely to see the both of you here. And Chantel, this is a general guidance, general card reading guidance for today. So it's not for the individual. That's where, you know, you can go to the either of these two sites and uh, check out what you, you think is a possibility for an individualised, more detailed reading. Um, but you'll need to, like, Tune in to, for the start, watch the replay and see how I do these every morning at 8. Okay, thank you for popping in though. And for anyone else out there uh, watching the replay, I mean, do share it around that I do these at 8 o'clock, most of the time around uh, on the dot at 8 o'clock-ish <laughs> here, Adelaide Central Standard Time. So it is definitely Adelaide time in Australia. So thank you, Shaz. Wonderful to see you here. And we'll catch you tomorrow morning at the 8 o'clock as well. Bye for now and namaste. Keep being the best you that you can be.